Hey, welcome back. This is Ghana Tonight. We're live on TV3 Ghana on Facebook, DSFE Channel 279, all across the world on 3news.com. Now, the renal unit at the Kolebo Teaching Hospital has been closed for the past two weeks. Now, with no explanation from officials, there's no public explanation for it, no reason given as yet. Normally, bustling with patients a visit earlier in the day show the entrance stood empty with only a few staff on site. Patients we gathered have now resorted to private facilities for their dialysis, which is not cost-friendly. Now, this is not the first time this unit has been shut down. A similar situation occurred sometime last year. Now, let's, let's get on to this matter. And uh, thankfully, we have Kojo Bafwa Ahinkra, who is the leader of the Kidney Patients Association, joining us on Zoom. Mr. Ahinkra, appreciate your time here on Ghana tonight. Certainly not, not, not good news for you, but let's first confirm this. You say that this RENA unit has been closed for the past two weeks? Uh, 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 one week, five days. Coming Sunday will be exactly two weeks. One week, five days. And there has not been any official communication to you, at least the patients. That's why this RENA unit has been closed for the past one week, five days? No, they've not given us any official communication telling us the reason why the unit has shut down. Nobody has told us anything. It's just a rumor that we hear that the consumables are, they've run out of consumables. That is all that we are hearing. But officially, we don't have any communication on that. I see. You're hearing that the, the consumables are finished. So this information you're getting, where, where, where are you hearing it from? Who, who's telling you this? No, like I'm saying, it's a rumor. I mean, everybody's speculating. All right. But mostly, the speculation is based on that because it has happened before. Exactly a year ago, we mm -hmm. had the same thing, and they say it was the consumables. Right. Exactly one year ago. Last year, if you remember, we had the same issue. Mm -hmm. So that is what people are saying, that they are suspecting the consumables because officially, they have not come out to tell us anything. So everybody is speculating that oh, consumables, consumables, because the machines are there. I mean, normally we used to have water issues. Now we have the body tanks, the big ones, the water is there. So what again? So it's a speculation. Everybody is speculating that the consumables are finished. But from per my reliable source, I think that is the major cause that they don't have consumables. I see. If your reliable source tells you consumables are finished, it may be the cause for the closure. But have, have you, as leaders of this um, persons with kidney disease, sought any official explanation? Have you tried getting to the officials of the Kolobu Renal Unit to tell you exactly what's going on? We are not getting them all. Hey, Alfred, you see, I don't know how Kolobu works. Anybody you try to talk to, you tell me that go to the administration. Go to the administration. The Renal Unit people there. I mean, um, they have the other officers there. When you go there, they will also tell you that they are also waiting for uh, instructions from the top. So they too, as we are all in a limbo, they, are, they too, they are in a limbo. They don't know what is going on. Mm -hmm. So you don't know even whom to approach and talk to uh -huh. and find out what is going on. I see. But we also get the information, please confirm this for me, that because of this closure over the last one week, five days, three of your members, three persons living with kidney disease have died as a result, correct? True, we've lost three members. But like I was saying, uh, probably maybe if they were ill already, we wouldn't even know. But since the place was shut down, we've lost three of them. You've lost three of them. And is there any, from what you do know, any direct correlation with the closure of this place, probably contributing to the death of these three persons, from what you do know? It can be because if, if the place is the place is open, they are going there. We meet the doctors there regular. We meet the nurses there regular. So maybe if there's something wrong with you, you talk to a nurse. The nurse might refer you to a doctor, which a doctor will see to you. Here, the place, the place has been shut down. You don't meet anybody there. You go, you go there. The place is empty. So it can be a contributing factor. That is what we are assuming that because the place is shut down. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't have access to doctors. Right. We don't have access to the nurses because when you go there, 
some of the nurses are sitting down. You can talk to one or two, but they too, they will tell you they are also waiting for the instructions from above. They don't know why uh, they are not working. And, uh, well, I can imagine how your members are coping, but tell me about it. How, how, how are your members coping in the midst of all of this? Because if you're resorting to the pr private clinics or renal um, units, you're going to have to pay more. So what's happening to them? Alfred, I'm telling you honestly, uh, this is like a suicide. You no, know, the, private, the, the private sector, they are charging between 600 to 700. That is what the private is charging per session. Kolebu is doing 491. That one is a bit lower. The private is doing. So how many of them can even go for two sessions a week? Let's say even if it is 600, it means you are, you are looking for 1,200. Your transportation has not come. A lot of them are complaining. A lot. Every now and then my phone is ringing. Every now and then my phone is ringing. What are we doing? You know? What are we doing? You know? And what can I do? I can only complain. I can only report and find out what is going on. Kolebu is not telling us anything. So please, the people, the patients are suffering, deep, deep, deep suffering, because they cannot pay the private place. 600, some are charging 650, 680, 700, some are charging even close to 1,000 per session. How, how do we go about it? We, we cannot do it. So the, the patients are not taking it likely at all. Two weeks now, somebody has just done only one session because he hasn't got the money. He managed to got maybe 600, <coughs> sorry, I want to do one. And he has not done it again. He's waiting for Kulibu to open. So people are suffering. It's not easy for us, Alfred. Mm. I, I cannot imagine this, and certainly not easy for you. And thank you, Mr. Ankara. Thank you so much for even getting the courage and making the time to join us here on Ghana tonight. I really do appreciate um, the, the strength. And look, we've been knocking on the doors of the Kulibu Chichen Hospital and also the Ministry of Health. For some answers so far, we haven't gotten any as yet. But stay with us here on TV3 and across all media general platforms because we'll try to get some answers as to why this renal unit has been closed for the past one week and five days. No official communication and the persons living with kidney diseases are not having it easy as a result. But on behalf of the rest of the team, thank you. Thank you so much for staying with us here on Ghana tonight. Join us same time tomorrow. My name is Alfred Okansi. Do have a good night.